Hey everyone, Sam from 3D here. In this video, I would like to show you how you can play with the characters and uh, this should be beginner friendly. So even if you just downloaded the Blender, it's uh, easy to follow and I will show you some hidden tricks. I'm going to talk about some interesting stuff like, okay, you just open it, how to play with the characters, what do you get? Uh, get there and uh, then I will show you also some inspiration or we can start with the inspiration right away When you will see our web page like characters.design you can see what we did like everything here was did with the with the packs like even this one like its combinations uh, you know like a 3d assets and everything was done with packs included here uh, there are a lot of poses we are talking about that then you can do simple animations you know like this it's one keyframe second keyframe we did a lot of tutorials on our youtube channel like youtube.com slash 3d and uh, yeah everything we'll talk about that but let's go to the inspiration like uh, what you can create and uh, if you learn like how to just combine because this is copy paste thing you know like we have uh, the hands pack you can combine with a mobile phone put the room there and uh, you can like here is the adult here is the teen and so on so this is how you can combine easily get something interesting you know or you can just uh, create some simple spheres or use the icons from our icon spec icons.design and you know just append and I will show you how you can do it. Like I will show you the the way, and then you can play with that. Or you can use it like and combine and use it on the on the web page. Or you can showcase your team. And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty simple to do because it's just a PNG file. Here you also can do some 3D animations, or you can put it in the AR, VR, and game, or whatever you decide to do. It's super fun. Also, like to use it in 3JS. And uh, yeah, so these are the, the animations. Everything is with the, with the adults. So let's start with the very beginning so you can do something cool. If you are new to Blender and just downloaded the Blender and you want to learn the basics, definitely go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash 3D. I will put the link down below in the comment section. We created two lists basically which you can easily consume and learn like we have 3d modeling essentials blender guide to objects materials lighting rendering and hdr wide and uh, then we have final practice if you go through this you will learn the very basics of blender and then you can be pretty skills to use our packs and to squeeze them but don't worry i explain everything what you need in this tutorial but also if you just lost and you want to learn like we have the inverse and forward kinematics i will explain in the video later on or if you are you know you have frequently we were asked about frequently asked questions like how to navigate in blender how to change the color how to change the color of the skin and so on and so forth so how to change the camera and render view and so on so definitely why my render is black or how to make a clay render which is pretty cool and you can definitely go to this series of videos i will put the link down below in the comment section so yeah let's go to the tutorial okay so you just open this and you see a lot of dots here a lot of poses here a lot of stuff here so okay let's start with the very beginnings of uh like the characters many people think like they don't see the colors but you need to go here and just to change the viewport shading viewport shading material preview this will show you how it looks like but if you want to have the lights you need to go here uh, to render it viewport shading okay now i don't see any clothes but uh, if i go here to mail collection here's collections uh, here are the objects uh, but uh, you can go and you know turn on the accessories and here you can easily just turn on the mask or whatever you decide then you can go and turn on some hair by this or easier way is to go to file uh, edit uh, preferences and here you know you can install uh, the add-on I have it installed it's a character generator this one and you can go and here it is if you go we need to select the base objects which is this one and now you can select the mail let's see cool one thing what I need to go and to turn on this on top the cage and base because it doesn't 
eat uh, the stuff uh, because there is just a base mail which actually should be turned on and now if I go here I have the let's refresh it and I have the accessories eyeglass hair legs outfits and shirt for the accessories it's turned off and here yeah now I see the mask but if I don't want to see it I just turn it off now you can go and change the hair okay now you can change the, the legs we have the legs here with are the, also the shoes inside if you don't like the shoes you can turn them off you know and play that's cool okay you can like there are two ways like you can go by here or you can use the character generator as you want it's giving you the the vibe how to use it one thing which is good is to use the same skin here and this is what we are going to Let's be in the object mode all the time. I need to click on this all the time on this mesh. And now I see it's using different skin. The previous one was using the third one. And this is how you can easily change the clothes. You always need to be on the object mode and click on the mesh. See, like this is the mesh. Here is the mesh. And I can go and change it uh, easily. You see, I'm changing the skin and it's affecting everything. So if I go and click on the trousers, it's the same thing. Let's get back with Ctrl Z and now let's put some clothes on. We have also the outfits. Uh, let's let's put some clothes. Shirt, yes, this is what I want. Like jumper, it works nice. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the outfits because we have also already made outfits, uh, which is cool to use for the characters for the adults. Here is the African. Is a firefighter. You no, know, it's everything is. It's there and if you want to see or turn off something you need to go and to see the uh, firefighter outfit this one and you can turn on everything if you turn on just the screen it will disable in viewport but it will be rendered so if once you click like here render image then you will will get it uh you know like let's hit okay so it's a little bit slow but let's escape and get back let's see what we can do here the sampling yes you can play here and definitely use the gpu if you can and here sampling we can put lower number so it will be a little bit faster but uh, slower rendering if uh, for some reason it's a little bit laggy to play with the character you can use the simplify it will simplify a little bit the mesh it won't use the modifiers and so on so this can be handy it's a little bit faster and it's enough for the preview like for example you want to change the pose when i'm talking about the poses here is the way like i'm clicking here in the I can have object mode and we are using object mode and pose mode if we want to model something go to edit mode but uh, for now let's talk only about this and here you can play with the bones all of these things are basically like the bones which you can play and you know. okay so what uh, happened here is that i have for some reason thin shoes here which you can just turn them on and off i mean now it's working nicely all the time when you see something or this shouldn't be there you just can click on that on the object and it will be highlighted you see it highlighted here and here it's highlighted so this is the headlight and it's inside this is the helmet so you can just turn off this is the headlight and this is the helmet right so it can be super handy like you saw and yeah let's talk about the poses all of these are the bones which you can just click and change we have also like video about the i key and f key rig like inverse kinematics and forward kinematics rig and here i have the apply mirroring so you can have it or you can just have like play with the one hand you can make it longer and so on definitely if you are interested in animating go and let's take a look on the difference between i key and f key which you can play and here in the record layers you can turn on and off stuff you don't want to have so for example i don't want to have i key which is inverse kinematics coming from this bone and getting back or forward kinematics is basically coming from this bone and you selecting one by one and this is how uh, you can play with it so inverse kinematic will work for us just fine for now and also you have things like cape which for now for the firefighter you don't need you can have facial like primary and secondary this is how you can easily tweak it uh, let's put the hair put some hair you can even animate the hair which is cool and can be super handy so now this is how it looks like and if you want to have the pose you can't have selected any bones or if you decide to let's click here like i'm just 
clicking here and holding the left click button and the select box and here I will select the bones I want to you know change so this is how you are you can use different and combine different poses if you select all the bones uh, it will change the whole pose all the bones or you can unselect everything and then just you know use and have the poses for some reason if you don't see this you need to be in the pose mode and here in the animation tab you can hit toggle asset shelf and it will be shown here the cool thing here is that uh, we have also like different uh, objects it's pretty big here so here are the, all the poses you can have and also the object so let's say i have this let's turn this pose you see that nothing is in the hand but don't worry uh let's see the pose is 44 let's go to the objects uh, let's find the 44 Ta -da! that's it it looks cool let's turn off the simplify to see how it will look like we are all the time in the render so if you want to have the fastest way you can go here and for the preview is enough to have the solid but yeah it's easier for me to demonstrate what i'm talking about so go to render here you can change the expressions like for example you don't like something like he he's not happy enough or even i click here i see also it's selected so i was shocked i can have angry eyes or i can change the eyes you know to happy one or i can have the hard eyes is here so i need to turn them on now it's working it's uh, in the male base body and now if you turn it on it will work so let's have everything turn on just you know for case let's remember this is for the viewport and this is for the rendering so let's put some money there Ta -da! that's it super easy to use even if you want to have talkative 3d character so you know i talk and the character can be mimic my talking it can be super useful with gpt or other tools or in unity here is the lip sync for the animation and also we have the blend shapes which are here let me find them here are all the shape keys bcms and blend shape keys so you know you can play them and uh, you see how i'm changing the mesh voila it will mimic how you are talking and you can have it pretty fun okay one cool thing uh, we have the generator the second because this is not our first one you can go here and add multiple characters into the scene or you can go to file append and file the blender file and then you can append everything if you want to append all the characters need to put all the things here uh, to have the character then you save it or you don't have to save it but uh, you need to append the characters and clothes if you want or objects if you want to have also the objects in the, in the scene and this is how you can just append the stuff and you will have like one blender file with multiple characters we did a lot of tutorials on that so you will find it on our youtube channel and yeah one thing which is, i really like it is that um, you can have random combination of 3d character you see like i'm randomly can click and find like i'm selecting 50 combinations so it means like under 50 i will have 50 different characters if i put 30 i will have 30 different characters let me see here is the 30 characters and now i can you know like it will randomly pop up okay one important thing is regarding the masking it's working similarly than in photoshop or in other tool in figma is that sometimes uh you see that something is coming through like here let's turn it like here or here and so on it's on the body the reason why it's like that is because the skin body the mesh is coming through the outfit easy fix is to go and to click on the on the body here uh, the body is selected you see that it's it looks like this and here if we go and to turn on some masking for example let's try superhero no it's too much a business yes you see the mask business i used and this is what i see let's try something more long sleeve yes so i need to turn on the mask long sleeve and now it's working nicely see so this is how you can apply the masking for different outfits let's try different one so it's clear now okay this is working nicely yeah it's coming through this thing so for this you can just easily modify it with the g g is moving g y moving up and r as rotate this is how you can easily rotate it yeah so a little bit like playing with that just be sure that it's on the head and now or it can go like uh, through the hair or it can be smaller 
Yeah, but basically that's that's basically how to play with that. And let's try chef, for example, or doctor or seller outfit. Yes, here. For this one, we probably need to change it a little bit. So let's turn here. Let's turn off here. And now I see that it's masking here. So let's try short sleeve. And it's working greatly. Now I have different trousers here so i need to turn off the legs the legs is turned off let's see what's happened it's been object mode let's see i have the outfit and yeah i have two different pants which i can choose here so you can choose like if this pants or this ones that's it it works the reason why you don't see anybody here or you know like the you don't see any shoes is basically you need to go and turn on some shoes which you like and you can combine them together so it's under the legs you, have, you know under the legs there are different different shoes which you can play with yeah so that's basically it if you want to clear the keyframes if this is handy it will clear the keyframes you have and you can keep this astronaut for example if you want to generate all combinations but let's hit it it's a lot of different combinations just for here which i don't till break basically the blender but uh, the cool thing what it won't have maybe is to show all the combinations of the male outfits let's have it i'm in the mail and i have the male outfits only let's generate all combinations it's 18 which is parable and now it will give me all the possible outfits yeah so that that was it yeah that's uh, basically it if you are interested, you can go to our YouTube channel and to learn more about 3D animation or you can find some cool uh, YouTube tutorials uh, how you can play and squeeze the 3D pack. If you have any questions, go definitely ask me at samuel3d.design. If you want to learn more about characters, go to characters.design. And yeah, if you want to see what we do, because we do also a lot of cool 3D stuff, go to 3d.design where you can find different packs. Or if you want to order anything custom, you know, like different hair or different object or animation or whatever, uh, definitely reach out to me at Samuel at 3D.design because we do a lot of 3D animations, a lot of custom jobs. Have a great day. Stay creative. Bye.